welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a positivity haul for you. I don't actually think a positivity haul is a real thing, but I've just made it up and I want to share with you guys some of the things that I've been having bought so far in January to make myself feel a little bit more positive, to take a little bit more pride in my appearance, to just do some things to get my mood up, if you know what I mean. If you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a massive, massive thumbs up. Also, if you have any ways to feel positive, please put them in the comment box below because I'm sure everyone will appreciate some new ideas for the new year to feel nice and positive, nice and good about themselves. And also I like to read them as well because it really, really helps me out. Also, if you're new here, then please don't forget when you leave this video, please, please subscribe. It will be much appreciated. But for now, let's get on with the video. So the first few things that I went out and bought are from Lush. I got sent a load of Lush stuff in December uh, to do a Christmas Lush haul kind of thing. And just since then, I've just become really obsessed with all of it. So I went in there the other day with Connor and I saw some stuff that I thought might boost my mood a little bit. And I treated myself because honestly, I really don't usually treat myself to stuff like this. I, I get because I'm in a very fortunate position with my job, I get some stuff sent to me, or I wait for Christmas or birthdays and after, like, and get them then, or I just sit back and admire them without actually having them. So the first thing I went out and bought was this. This is Rub 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 from Lush, and it's shower scrub. I love a bit of shower scrub, like I really, really do. And the reason it caught my eye was because for a couple of weeks I had been using something which I honestly thought was shower scrub and it wasn't working. And I was like, this is just awful. I was looking at my legs and like where I was scrubbing and my skin wasn't changing. It wasn't feeling any softer. It was, wasn't getting rid of dry skin or anything like that. And I was like, am I using it wrong? And then one day I looked and it, was, it wasn't actually shower scrub. It was like salts that you put in the bath and I'm using a shower scrub and it just wasn't working. So this one caught my eye and it's in a massive, massive pot, like a really, really big pot for Lush. 665 grams. And it is made of fine sea salt and a load of other stuff. Um, and it's really good so far. I have used some of it so far. And the reason I got it was because I have been wanting to fake tan a little bit more than I usually do. Obviously we're in the middle of winter right now. I am extremely pale for me. And I just wanted to fake tan a little bit more. I don't really fake tan my face, but my body has been feeling really pale. And I think when you've got a nice glow, it makes you feel better. It does make you feel more positive about your body and stuff like that. The second thing that I got from Lush was a fresh face mask. And these ones you do keep in the fridge. And you can pick from a load of different ones. And I got this one. It's called Aisha because it does say that it keeps your skin smooth. And I've really been suffering at the moment because of a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety with my facial skin. I've never really suffered from my skin. I've never had acne. I've never had anything like that. So when I do get a breakout, I do get very, very self-conscious. So I've been trying this out and I've only used it once so far, uh, but I was really, really happy with it. My skin did come out feeling very smooth, albeit all the lumps and bumps didn't go. It made my skin feel less rough, which is really, really good. And the last things that I bought from Lush are these. I walked in just as these were selling out and the lady told me that they had put out something like 150 in the morning and they were gone by midday. That is because Snow Fairy is so popular at Christmas and around winter time and it does smell so, so nice. So nice. And they were half priced. So usually ones this size are like £13 and these were £6.50 so I had to get two for the price of one because I'm not going to be able to get them till next year. So I'm going to try and make these last till next year. I don't think it'll work but I'm going to try. So the next things I got to make myself feel a little bit more positive are things from Claire's. I got my nose ring which if you guys watched my last video you will know that it is a fake nose ring. It's not real because I can't have a real one because YouTube isn't the only thing I do. I'm also a kids presenter therefore I can't really have any facial piercings or stuff like that on my face. I can have hidden stuff, like hidden piercings. I can have piercings in my ears, and I can have hidden tattoos and stuff like that, which I do have, but I just can't really have any facial piercings or tattoos. Uh, but I got this because it's something that I was really, really desperate to get done, and I knew that I couldn't get a real one, so I did have to get a fake one. And for some reason, I just kept going, oh, I'll, do it, I'll buy it tomorrow, I'll buy it tomorrow, I'll look into it, blah, blah, blah. 
And then I was at the shops and I was like, well, just buy it. Like, just do it. Just treat yourself. And that's something that I just never do. I just never treat myself. And this is something that I have wanted for a long time. And it's something as small as a little piercing, like a little fake piercing. And I was like, oh, no, I don't want to spend the money, blah, blah, blah. And now I've got it. I know it sounds silly, but it's made me feel like a little bit more confident because it's just something different. It's a little bit quirky, like, it's just a look that I really, really like on other girls. So it's made me feel nice and confident. The next thing I got from Claire's was some earrings. Oh my God, my lips falling out. And I got one of them in here. They're fake earrings as well. The reason I got them was because, just because they were there. Because I might go and get the real ones done, but for now, I've just got the fake ones and they don't look fake when they're in your ear. Well, I don't think they do anyway. They don't really look fake, they look pretty cool. They're like nice patterns, like they're the big, like chunky ones and stuff. So I thought I'd get them. And it made me feel good. So the next thing I got from Claire's were these Isla lashes. Um, I like the single ones because then I can put them on accordingly to my lashes, if you know what I mean. Like, I feel like you can be a little bit limited when you put strip lashes on because they have to look how they are. Um, but these ones, you can put as many as you want on. You can put long ones, short ones, like, what, you can kind of style your own look with the individual ones. I got the Isla ones because I was in Claire's and I looked at the Claire's um, range themselves and they were £5, the Claire's range. And obviously they're definitely, definitely not as good quality as Isla. I truly believe the Isla are just the absolute best. But I looked at them anyway, they were £5, they didn't come with any glue or anything like that. And they were half the size of these, so they only had half the lashes that this has got in here. These were £5.50, they came with glue, double the eyelashes, and you just cannot go wrong with eyeliner. So I thought that was just weird, but so I got two packs of eyeliner. I'm going to go back to wearing lashes, because I always used to wear individual lashes and I loved it. And I feel like it really made my eyes pop a little bit. And then I just stopped. And that's when I started hating my eyelashes. So I just kind of said to myself, just do it. I've been saying to myself a lot at the moment, just do it, just make it, just make it happen. So that's what I'm doing. So the last two things in this haul are both books. Uh, I spoke about this one in my previous video, my New Year New Me video. And this is Naomi Smart's Eat Smart, What to Eat in a Day, Every Day Cookbook. And it has everything in it. It's got all the superfoods that I should be eating. It's got loads of different breakfasts that I can make myself, loads of different lunches, loads of different dinners. And then this is where it got really, really good because it started telling me how I could make my own sides, like for a roast dinner. It started telling me how I can make my own drinks, my own mocktails, my own ketchup. I don't eat ketchup, but I just thought that was an amazing thing to put in a cookbook. Root crisps. And stuff and every single thing in this cookbook is made from scratch and every single thing in this cookbook is vegan I believe there's no fish in there no meat in there nothing that comes from any animals no dairy nothing at all but it's still such an amazing cookbook and I'm so glad I bought it it's 20 pound I actually got it for 15 for some reason I can't remember why but it's 20 pound which is quite pricey for a cookbook but I honestly could not recommend it anymore it's really really helped me out you can make your own smoothies and realistically i don't think i would have taken this whole health kit thing as seriously if i didn't have this book and the last thing in this haul is the positivity kit now i haven't started it yet because i want to sit down and properly read through it before i start it and this is by a lady called lisa curry who also wrote a book uh, called me you and us that i looked at for me and connor in Urban Outfitters. I got this from Urban Outfitters and it says on the back, ready, set, happy. The positivity kit is designed to deliver joy, comfort and smiles whenever you need them. Brimming, I'm not very good at reading. Brimming, brimming with surprising and fun prompts that focus on little things that make us smile. The unique journal is guaranteed to cheer up even the grumpiest person on the gloomiest day. Um, and this is really nice. And if you just go through, it just tells you little things to do. It's a bit like Wreck My Journal, but it's positive. It's like aimed at positivity rather than just wrecking a journal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out every single page in my vlogs over on my vlogging channel, which I'll put in the description below. So anyone that wants to see me fill out this book from start to finish, 
can go and see that every single day in my vlogs. I'll be doing one page a day. But that is the end of my positivity haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was something a little bit different because I always do like makeup hauls, clothes hauls, homeware hauls and stuff like that. And this one I think is a really, really important haul, especially for the new year. And maybe you guys can go out and treat yourself to a few things and just do your own little positivity haul because it definitely has kick-started my year in a really, really good way. And every single one of these things is helping me in a different way, no matter how small. Even shower gel. Snow Fairy is just shower gel. Yeah, really, really small things, but you don't realise how much of an impact they make in your life. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.